So today in Enkhuizen, Bart invited me to visit his boat, also a Koopmans. And uh, let's have a look how semi so different it is. Should be around here. I actually think it's that one. I hear the sanding machine already. It remains to be a boat, eh? Hey, Bart! Hey! So, hey, man. glorious sanding? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just taking advantage of the lovely weather. So, ah. <laughs> so what are you doing? Preparing the ship for some, uh, some new paint because uh, as well under the water as above the water I, uh, I wanted to give her another color so uh, ah. I was a bit uh, bored with the red and white and uh, I uh, want to take it blue, make it blue. Ah, the red and white I saw on this yeah, end. Yeah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, uh, I sanded the stripes off and uh, I prepared the surface with uh, 220 now and I have to do it in the 320 as well and then uh, I take some uh, two-part paint in uh, in a blue color to uh, to make them all shiny again. Mm, like Windrose, blue yeah, and red. Yeah, yeah, a bit, a bit lighter than Windrose, but uh, but mm. uh, yeah, nice. And the underwater ship, I uh, I took it back to the to the primer uh, layers, and uh, I'm gonna give it some uh, some epoxy protection now in uh, in a few layers yeah. from Hempel. Yeah. And uh, then I put on the the silicon anti-fouling. Oh, the foul release, uh, silicon coating. one, the yeah. new bio uh, friendly one. Yeah, exactly. Good, yeah. good. Yeah, I had it on my previous ship and I was really, uh, really pleased with it. So, uh, yeah. could be something for me. Welcome back to yet another episode of Sailing Wind Rose. Yes, where we are almost done wiring, which is really good news, but almost is not yet. Uh, fully so that's what i'm working on today but in the meantime i actually visited bart the follower that i met in enkhuizen then in medenblik then at my home and who invited me over to his ship and we thought you might like to see another koopmans and this time a deck saloon as you can actually see so uh, we already looked a bit on the outside he is sending it down um, basically it's quite the same model as i have except that it has keel and it is a deck saloon. So um, I think it would be quite nice to uh, go up and have a look at the deck of Hendrika Wilhelmina. Hendrika Wilhelmina? Right now she's called Hendrika Pieterinella. Oh, impressive. Yeah, but we're gonna rename her to the Silver Mill. Ah, the Silver Mill, the yeah. Silver. Sil yeah, sort of a seagull. So, silver Seagull. Yeah. Ah, good. Yeah. Let's go up, shall we? Ah, oh, dat is ook een mooi schip. Opza. Welkom aan boord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Actually, quite, uh, quite the same uh, setup we yeah, have yeah. here. It's the same designer. Right? It's also uh, designed by Koopmans. So, ah. Uh, yeah. Same as yours. Good, 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 good. So, what would be the biggest difference? Well, uh, obviously uh, the deck salon, yeah, hey, which is yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it gives a lot of uh, interior space. So that is indeed very nice. Yeah, really nice. And further, yeah, it's uh, it's really same as yeah. I yeah. see, uh, I see these things probably for a back or for the um, the backstage. How do you yeah. call that in English? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So you also have uh, in a four stay. Yeah, there's an inner force tail which you can hoist a, a smaller uh, jib on. Yeah. And uh, because it attaches lower to the mast, then uh, the mast will bend if you don't use the the back stay. So uh, that's where they're for. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, extra support. Wow, this deck saloon is nice. It gives you a lot of light, man. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, oh, and look, Bart also has the Simrad automatic steering thingy here. <laughs> Good. I'm not gonna ask how that works because I don't have it and I don't want to know. But. Uh, same loomers, that's nice. You have a nice window there, which is also good. And it's a bit greenish, but I guess it's because we're under the trees, right? Yeah, it's been out here uh, all winter already and uh, the oh. leaves on the trees were falling and uh, I had my hands uh, full on the, the jobs to do. So cleaning uh, in, <laughs> in spring again. <laughs> it's also nice, you have the, have yeah, the yeah. I-70s in there. Yeah. 
I uh, I already have the the i70 as well. Oh, you yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Ah. I uh, only I need to to mount them. Uh. Ah, good. Well, I'm almost done. This is the last one, and it's a cigarette lighter. I have two to connect there, and then I'm ready. So let's get cracking on that one. So in the meantime, let me take you up on the deck of the boat of Bart. So looking at the cockpit, it's actually quite the same. He has the steering pedestal, steering wheel. He has the autopilot on it. I actually decided to do that differently. As I have a wind vane, I will connect the auto helm to it that normally uh, handles the helm. And I'll make a separate video on that because I'm not yet figured out quite how I'm going to do that. But still, looking at the rest of the cockpit, it's, well, quite the same. You have your benches, you have your winches, and then you have the... I think you call it the gutter. Um, moving forward, he actually has separate Genoa slides for the inner jib, which I yeah really like. On my case, they're on the same uh, track. Looking at the mast, really quite similar as well. Same setup, uh, just a big pole with uh, two spreaders. One interesting detail is actually the brackets that he has on the luchthappers. Um, in my case, they're a little bit more forward, so I don't really step on them, but I do like the detail there. And also the striping at the boom, Bart, that looks really good. I know you're trying to get rid of the striping, but it's everywhere, so you might consider that twice before you start. Let's have a look on the inside of the boat while I'll start cracking on fixing this. Wow, what a beautiful ship. Nice, Bart. Yeah, really you. good. Yeah, thanks. Do you want to have a, a look inside? Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, let's go. Okay. After you. Yeah. Okay, let's... So it's a bit slippery in here. It's all rainy. Yeah. I can stand on this. Yeah, sure. Good. Oh, the engine is out. Yeah. Oh, what did you do? Yeah, the engine needed to be overhauled, so oh. uh, we took it out, and then um, the the maintenance guy uh, they could take it apart and, uh, oh. and, uh, and do all the work. So you're getting a spiffy new, yeah, refurbished uh, engine. Ex exactly. Yeah. Okay. And, um, well, you did a great job here, at least. Wow, yeah. Mads will be proud of you, man. <laughs> hey, and I see another berth. Is that a berth down there? Yeah, yeah we've got a back uh, cabin here. Oh, You can reach oh, it from this uh, door. Oh, yeah, look at that. So spacious. Very nicely trimmed. And good access to the engine. Yeah. And I also... You might have not noticed this, but this is the deck saloon feeling. <laughs> How nice is yeah. this? Wow, it's like a room with a view. And then you can sit here, I guess. Yeah, right now the, the cushions and everything is out because I'm yeah. uh, doing all the work and uh, my tools are here. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, there, normally there's a table here and there's uh, the cushions uh, yeah, in a U uh, shape. During um, sailing uh, or in the harbor, you can really nicely uh, sit here. Yeah. And then uh, the connection to the outside and uh, see, uh, see the surroundings. Uh, around you in the harbor or on the water or uh... so I couldn't help but noticing that uh, I was standing on the water tank so I thought well we can always ask right and you also have the diesel and the water tanks on the hull yeah they're underneath the floor here yeah diesel here yeah the diesel is on this side water, water is on this side batteries in between ah. i could open the floor if you want uh, so you can see it perhaps yeah let's do it. there are bolts here which you can loosen and then there's a suction thing look at that and you can lift it oh there it is yeah ah that looks like a really nice tank so you've been sending it down yeah there was a coating inside uh, yeah. um, which was old and uh, had to be uh, replaced so I'm sending it down and then uh, I can put in a new epoxy coating uh, to protect the tanks and also uh, to preserve the water from, uh, yeah smart yeah, yeah. all right so, so a lot of you, work you love sending as well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah it's a glorious sending. Sending. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> all right well let's close it up again and yeah. show the rest of the boat so I'm not sure if you actually noticed but Bart opened his floor in a very interesting way. He was using an uh, Imbus uh, sleutel to basically turn it 
and open it. And when he opened it, he actually revealed a very, very interesting construction. If you open it, the thing that locks it goes down. And that if you close it again, it turns up to the point that it stops and then moves up. And the good thing about that is that if you have, let's say, plywood of 90 millimeters or 22 or whatever, it will always fit as long as the thread is long enough. So I actually think that is something that I will be considering in this boat as well. Let's move on and continue with showing you the rest of the boat. There are some extra stair down. Yeah. And there's also a sitting area over here. More important, there is standing headroom here, which I like as well. Ah, and yep. oh, do I see another berth here? Yeah, there's another oh, berth. Oh, look at that. That's, how deep is that? Yeah, it's about two meters. Or, oh yeah. my, I could yeah. sit in there. Yeah. Wow, yeah, this is totally different feeling for a boat. That's funny. Yeah, and then you've got a kitchen here with, uh, with a lot of storage areas. And, yeah. Uh, Two big cabots with nice ah, look at that. Yeah. Hey, and just a question. This is a copans as well, right? Yeah. So what kind of copans is this? Like how long? It's called a, a Tulip 37. And Tulip is the type. They made more uh, Tulip 36.5. Mm -hmm. Only this one has been altered a bit on the back end. Oh. Uh, so it made a bit longer. So we've got a, a little deck on the back as well. Yeah, and, ah, and therefore right. a bit more storage area. It's made in aluminium, it's 37 feet long. Same as also aluminium, yeah? Yeah, yeah. and uh, 37 feet long. Ah, one feet longer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one has got to be longer. the closest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Beautiful boat, man. All right, you're going to continue sanding? Yeah, thanks you were here, it was really nice. Thank you for having me. Yeah, really I'll good. put on the, the torturing device yeah. again. and uh, I'll start working <laughs> on electricity. Yeah. Good luck with her and yeah. uh, thanks. see you on the waters. Yeah, yeah, bye-bye. Cheerio. Okay, time for me to uh, get some electricity uh, done. The sanding is moving. Aha. That's a wrap. No more holes here, but a nice and spiffy box. DC isolation, and I also got this because of Bart, because he advised it. It tests whether or not there is current on the hole, and I think currently that is a very good thing to do if you've ripped out all the electrics. Next episode will be all about that. What did I do here? How did I clean it up? In this episode, I want to thank you, Bart, for allowing me on the boat to show it to all the followers that we have, that I have, and uh, I hope you followers enjoyed it. If you have a comment for Bart, if you like the video, leave a like. In the meantime, I continue preparing the trip to Norway that I have planned to do during this summer. Two and a half months of holidays are in the bank account, so I'm ready to go, and I hope you are ready to follow me. So hope to see you next time. See you later. Cheers, boys and girls. And thank you, Bart. Oops! Uh.